All right, welcome to this episode of my playthrough of Near Automata. Uh, <laughs> we started with a bang, literally in this case. Um, it was... I'm not entirely sure how they're going to follow that opening episode. Because um, 2B is maybe not the main character, but she's the one featured in all of the promotional materials and box art and everything like that. So having her self-destruct at the beginning of the opening is... a bit okay weird let's see what's gonna go on here i'm not entirely sure where they're gonna go with that so without any further ado let's find out all right Can't go that way anymore. Saving possible. All right, well, let's take a look around here, see what we can find. I already tried to go that way. Can't go that way anymore. Okay, I can still attack, but uh, she doesn't have her swords or anything like that, so it looks like it's uh, punches and kicks. Oh! <laughs> uh, I was so focused on uh, this little diamond symbol in the middle of the door that I didn't notice that it's uh, labeled to the right here as 2B. This is literally her room. I wonder what these things are. Well, that kind of looks like the uh, Yorha symbol on the floor there. So, mission complete and all that, huh? The Goliaths were wiped out, and we secured a route into enemy territory. Now we can... 9S. Yeah? Thank you for uploading my data to the bunker. Um, I did that? Sorry, I don't remember. There wasn't a whole lot of bandwidth down there, you know? I probably only had enough time to back up your memories. Mine are only intact up to the point just before we rendezvoused. I see. Glory to mankind. Glory. To mankind. This game uses online functionality for its message sharing features. Connect to the network. This can be changed from the system menu at any time. Huh. Weird. Eh, let's try it. 5012 AD. The year mankind's glorious history came to a sudden and abrupt end, when the world was invaded by aliens from beyond the stars. The aliens unleashed a new breed of weapon, machine life forms, that all but annihilated human civilization. The handful of survivors that remained fled from Earth, seeking refuge on the moon. 5204 AD. Humanity launched its counterattack. Deploying an army of androids from a network of orbiting bases. But after more than a dozen large-scale descents upon the enemy, we still haven't managed to repel the invaders. That is why you, the Yorha forces, exist. To break this stalemate, once and for all. 
You are our ultimate weapon, and you must put an end to this war. Understood, sir. I wish you good hunting. Glory to mankind! Glory to mankind! Glory to mankind. To be, can you hear me? I'm starting your boot sequence. First, you'll want to check your brightness settings. Uh, it says recording in the top right, but uh, what do I do? Hmm, you don't know how to adjust the brightness. I think I'd set to respond to some kind of input. Yeah, but what? Er, all right, just give me a second here. Okay, I found the guide. If you can just follow that, it'll make things easier. Oh, it wants me to push the, uh, the right arrow. Right then, let's get started. We'll go through each adjustment in order. Uh, let's start by getting the brightness set. Uh, just until only the right icon is visible. Okay, how does this look? Do I want to say not good or okay? I think this looks okay. Roger that. Oh, and I should probably let you know that this entire process is being recorded for posterity. Hence the recording up in the top right. Now let's take a look at your voice recognition settings. Seems your voice recognition is set to mute, which isn't going to work. I'm going to call out to you now. Make sure you can hear my voice. Ma'am, are you there? Can you hear me? Hello? Go ahead and adjust your settings so you can hear me, alright? Uh, adjust the settings until you can hear my voice. Alright, are we good now? Yes, no, I'm fine, 9S. There's something calming about your voice. <laughs> Seems like there's a little bit more of a message there. Okay. Settings should all be good to go. Uh, hold on. Your self-destruct permissions are missing. Wait a sec. We need to restore those. I could set it for you, but you should probably do it yourself. Regulations and all, you know? Do I want to be able to self-destruct? I'm gonna say no. That, that seems like a bad idea. We'll see. Huh? Wait, no. You need to leave that turned on. Apparently I don't have a choice. Okay, good. If things go wrong during an op, you may have to sacrifice yourself in order to finish it. So, once you're finished making adjustments, you can go ahead and close this out. I think I went through all of this before. Um, yeah, uh, before I started the game. Okay, cool. Morning. Nine S. The commander's put me in charge of your maintenance, ma'am. That means I'll be performing regular checks on you from now on. I see. Oh, don't worry. We 9S models are the best around, you know. Though I suppose we're not exactly known for our modesty. Uh. 9S. Hmm? What is it, ma'am? Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? There's no need to be so formal. Uh, all right. If you say so. Oh, I almost forgot. The commander was calling for you. We'd better go see what's up, ma- Er, to be.
You want to adjust my combat style. Choose a combat style. We got balanced, close range, long range, aggressive, cautious, passive, don't change. We'll say balanced. Apparently we got a shop here. Let's see what we can find. Um, well, the G... I'm, I'm going to assume that that's gold. Because why not? That I picked up in that first mission. I suppose because I self-destructed any of my recovery items are, are not there. He's, so we got small recovery, medium recovery, melee attack up, do double damage for 15 seconds, ranged attack up, defense up, um, melee and ranged. So we got some chips. Those look like chips on the left. That's what an icon would be. We got an HP gauge. Sound waves. Interesting. Enemy data. Skill gauge. Text log. Minimap. Experience gauge. Save points. Damage values. Objectives. HUD is heads up display. So these are like what would show up on the screen. Finishing spots. Or fishing spots. Pardon me. Apparently we can fish. Auto attack. Auto fire. Auto evade. Auto program. Apparently they can only be equipped on easy mode. Auto weapon switch. Well, I think first thing I'm going to want is a bunch of recovery items. Given how many I went through in that first mission. These temporary boosts, I never use them, and I'm going to stay away from these 5,000 gold chips because that seems pretty expensive. So now I'm going to kind of stick with that as I have it. Oh yeah, there's my room. <laughs> I've got mail. How do I access mail? Intel, unit data. So stand, okay, so this is kind of like the codex. Stubby. <laughs> Uh, most common of small machine life forms, these units bear a similarity to spring-powered toys created by humans in the past. This was likely done for the sake of increased productivity, though machine life forms are built from modular parts and have many variations. Uh, equipped with... Oh, um, how do I scroll? Ah... There we go. Uh, equipped with projectile weapons, these units attack by firing energy rounds. While the masses of energy travel slowly, they have enough firepower to easily damage an android's armor. Pod's projectile attacks have no effect on shielded units, making close combat the most effective method of disposal. Okay. Medium biped, these guys here. Oh. Oh, I guess I this one doesn't have to scroll. Uh, even learning the menu controls is apparently a bit of a thing in this game. This medium-sized machine life form possesses large human-like limbs. These arms give it tremendous versatility in battle, as it can equip a great many weapons. A pod's projectile attacks have no effects on shielded units, yada yada. Yeah. Uh, small flyer. A uh, small machine life form outfitted with a flight device. Its firearm launches slow-moving energy pulses that can damage even the armor of an android, while the wire on the bottom of the flight device allows it to transport other machine life forms when necessary. Okay. Medium flyer. Oh, this is the one that had, like, the pods around the edges uh, that shot in four directions at once. Uh, a medium-sized machine life form outfitted with four flight devices armed with guns atop the devices and wire cutters on its sides. 
It's capable of taking on enemies in both close and long-range long combat. The wires on the bottom of the flight devices allow them to transport other machine lifeforms when necessary. Uh, special unit machines. Weird symbols. Don't know how to say that. A massive Goliath-class machine lifeform that resembles a heavy machinery of old. While it appears to have been constructed solely for its destructive abilities, a closer look at its features tells a different story. While in combat, it comes after foes with a repurposed bucket wheel ex excavator. A uh, massive Goliath-class machine lifeform disguised as a building. Yeah, so the, the factory was the Goliath. The tremendous amounts of energy running through its body forces the unit to emit steam in order to stay cool. When attacking, the heat generated from its arms often causes them to become engulfed in flames. Thought to have been produced in limited numbers, multiple units were recently discovered at the abandoned factory, though they were eventually destroyed by black box reactions from 2B and 9S. Alright. Still don't know how to get to my mail. Tutorials, weapon stories. Virtuous small sword, virtuous contract. How long can I fight amidst this bloody vortex of a battlefield? How long, I wonder. Level two, three, four, okay. Uh, large sword spears and combat bracers, okay. Interesting, weapons have stories. Uh, skills, pod programs, uh, gatling and laser. Or pod A is a gatling pod, R010 is laser. Okay. Fires a powerful laser in the direction that the pod is facing. Plug-in chips. What are these? Set type A, set type B, set type C, destroy chip. Set type A, customize. Equipped chips, we got an... An Android central system, removal means death. Yeah, don't remove that. Um, heads up display, HP gauge, skill gauge, enemy data, minimap, objectives, text log, save points, damage values, control, okay. So I'm not in easy mode, I'm in normal mode, so I can't equip those. Don't have any attack defense. I can optimize. Okay. Weapons, all weapons. I got bare fists. I got virtuous contract. A white blade used by Samurai of the East. Okay. Looks flashy, but the blade is top quality. Okay, interesting. So I can equip Virtuous Contract. Combat Bracer is Bare Fist, okay. Apparently I have some key items. Play System Pod. Shaped after a common household appliance vital for survival. <laughs> uh, if you look at the picture, it the front of the pod looks like an original PlayStation on its side. Okay. <laughs> uh, Grimoire of uh, Vice, a high capacity device used in the Gestalt product project. It ex exudes a vague area of pompousness. <laughs> Cardboard pod. Uh, shaped after a very sturdy box used for transporting goods in the jungle. <laughs> Retro red pod. Retro pod skin that looks like an ancient device from the east. Retro gray pod. A super nostalgic four color pattern on a bed of gray. Machine mask. A head covering worn by machine life forms. Okay. Still don't know how to access my mail. Yeah, don't, not jump, okay. This is still just the shop.
Okay, I'll look into how to access the mail later. You need to be near an access point to save your data. You can see access points on the close range map. Be sure to save often. Ah, so this three square icon here is a save point. Inbox, okay, so you access mail through these access points. Uh, select inbox at an access point to check your mail, okay. Server manager, test mail. This message is intended for the verification of your mail account. Members who encounter problems with the mailing system should contact their supervisors as soon as possible. Okay. I just want to see what these other icons are before I go to the objective. Who's this? Operator. I never get tired of looking at Earth. The hangar, you can get to it from the elevator to my left. Okay. There's the hangar. Yeah, what's up? 9S says, choose a combat style. Don't change. Okay. It's interesting how the bunker is all in, like, grayscale. 7B. Small good luck plus obtained. I'm assuming that's what that means. So we got an android that looks to be sleeping. I just stole her good luck charm, apparently. Oops. 8B. You're a soldier. The operator says hello. The Orha soldier says, I was just talking about all the plants and animals I saw on Earth. Operators are kind of nuts for data collection, you know. The operator says, it makes me jealous of the combat troops. I'd love to go down there and collect the data myself, but they don't allow it. So the operator is the one on the right with, like, the face veil. And the combat is the one who's dressed kind of like 2B. Uh, the Orha soldier, hey, I'd take you if I could, but, you know, I don't make the rules. Oh, so it's basically whoever is... Uh, the icon is above. Terminal. Maintenance shop owner. Uh, need any maintenance done? You've come to the right person. Okay. So let's see what we can buy. We got a, a laser. I already have that. Mirage. Analyzes all enemies in a fixed radius, allowing combatants to deliver a series of deadly slashes to all who are caught within. Hammer. Summons a mass of energy that uh, unleashes a devastating blow upon its target. Blade spins a pot around the player at high speed, wreaking havoc on enemy. It, it touches. Spear produces a mass of energy that sprouts from the ground in the shape of deadly spears. That looks cool. Shield deploys a protective barrier that blocks melee attacks. M shield deploys a projective, protective barrier that blocks projectile attacks. So we got P shield and M shield. Whether you're blocking melee or projectile. I find it odd that the P-Shield blocks melee attacks and the M-Shield blocks projectile attacks. I think they might have gotten those backwards. Plus 8 storage increases plug-in chip capacity by 8. But then 16, okay, so we can have chips. Upgrade pod, what can we do? Pod A to level 2, that costs 2.5 gold, but I don't have enough resources. Okay, so I got... I did collect some natural rubber, but it looks like they were lost in the self-destruct. Okay, so we need tree seed, mushroom, pure water, natural rubber, and power up part S. Okay. Fuse. You cannot fuse this chip because you have no chips with the same ability and rank. Okay. My skills are first class even for a scanner model. You can count on me. Oh, what's this? 
can't access this right now. Okay. So it looks like this episode is going to be a bunch of exploring this, uh, this base of sorts. 21-0. Speed salve obtained. Okay, 21 is not here. 5-0. So it looks like... It looks like it looks like B are the battle units, O are the operator units, and S are the scanner units. The operator says, Hey, have you been using your recovery items? Everyone on the research and development team is really proud of them. You can even buy them from the terminals in your quarters. Give them a try. Cool. Thanks. Uh, and this is an item shop again. Okay. Can't get past 5-0. the earth. There's the access terminal again. 9S. So this is 9S's room. Do you want to take a break? No. Got an, looks like we got a couple operators here. Hello there. You're starting to get quite the reputation. Oh, but don't worry, it's all good. The way you used your black boxes to blow up those goliaths was so awesome. Er, but try not to actually die, okay? We'll take good care of your data, so make sure to upload it frequently. Okay, makes sense. Right, 6 0. Small recovery. So there's the the uh, access point where I actually saved. And this is my objective, all right. Everything's proceeding smoothly. There's no sign of, there's no sign anyone's noticed any. What's your problem? Get out of my face before I rearrange yours. Attitude problem, apparently. Medium recovery obtained. Good to know. Back off, this is none of your business. Yeah, just a minor annoyance. Nothing to get your undies in a twist over. Hey, didn't you hear me the first time? Make like a machine and get out of here. Oh. She just seems pleasant. There's nothing over here. Okay. Oh, I can turn the camera now. Okay. So the game wants me to go there, but I'm gonna, of course, go everywhere else first. Because that's how I do. Thousand G. Again, don't know if that's supposed to be gold or if it's just G. Operator, hey there. Boy, you two are thick as thieves, aren't you? I know you're only working together by coincidence, but it's still nice that you've become friends. Oh, thick as in... Okay, not as in dumb. Your bodies automatically register information from slain enemies to the database. There's a practical design decision to allow combat units to also collect intelligence. Are you checking your mail regularly? Sometimes important mails sit around for weeks because the recipient doesn't know how to check them. So don't be that person. Check your mail regularly at a transport terminal, all right? Want a piece of advice from someone who's been in your shoes before? Back up your data whenever you can. If you do that, it doesn't matter if you lose your body. You can just upload the backup data to a new body and be on your merry way. How may I assist you? Please keep it brief. Sending over instructions. Okay. 
Do you need something? No? Alright then. What should we do with this? Hey there, how's it going? Majestic trees, pretty flowers, cute little animals, I love it all. The operators seem really infatuated with Earth. <laughs> Say, I've got a question for you. Are you using your pod effectively? Random, I know, but the thing is, you can install these things called pod programs that let you use special attacks. There are a bunch of different ones, so start tinkering and see which works best for you. This is the bunker, go ahead. Say again, you lost your pod? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yes, I see. Well, a lost pod will emit a distress signal, so try to locate that and then search the surrounding area. Bunker out. Maybe don't lose it next time, honestly. <laughs> Did you know you can install plug-in chips to improve your body's performance? If you want to install a bunch of chips, go talk to the S-type model in the server administration room. Alright. I think that's, uh... Is that everything? Ah, it's an elevator. Okay. I didn't want to go back up. I don't know why it took me back up. But it did. They're so obsessed with giving orders they forget to provide details about the actual mission. I hope we're going to be okay. Still, I'd be managing things once everyone's on Earth, so at least I know that part will go smoothly. Listen up, the future of the human race is in our hands. Now get out there and complete your missions. Our commanding officer loves formalities. Me, I'd rather just get the orders over with and start the mission already. Fighting isn't really my thing, but they assigned me to combat duty anyway. I wonder if I can transfer to being an operator. Just like our commanding officer, my dream is to kill, uh, kill scores of machines and contribute to humanity's great victory. Yeah, I will admit this whole, um, we've been fighting the machines for a long time, but haven't been able to establish a foothold seems only slightly like things are not quite as they seem. This unit was only manufactured recently, so she's still quite nervous. Again, they've built emotions into their androids. That concludes your mission summary. As for the detail breakdown, the first thing to remember is... Dot, dot, dot. Man, these operators are so fussy. Wish they'd get me, just get me the data I need and let me do my thing. The operators try hard to explain everything, but I'm still so confused. I just hope I don't get in anyone's way. Big red arrow, I'm assuming, is the objective. Don't worry, I can take care of myself. I've got plenty of recovery items. Erg. Are you feeling all right? Do you have enough recovery items? How are your vital signs? It's critical to deal with injuries right away. Only the commander can approve communication with the Council of Humanity. Your soldiers aren't allowed to make individual contact. You were fantastic in that battle the other day. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do next. Hello, how goes the mission? If you need additional mission intel, you can find it on your HUD. Central, certain plug-in chips also help you out, all right? So it seems like we're getting a little bit famous. All right, let's talk to the commander and see what happens. Ah, 2B. Maintenance finished? Yes, commander. You detonated your black box in order to defeat the enemy. Bold. But risky. Try not to be so reckless next time. Understood. I know you're fresh out of maintenance, but I have another mission for you. I need you to head to the surface, rendezvous with the Resistance, and do some recon. Doesn't Yorha have a dedicated Resistance contact already? We haven't been able to get in touch with them, so we'll need you to look into that as well. Understood. Interesting. Why are you still here? You should have the destination data for your next mission. Uh, head to the surface from the hangar. Alright. This elevator is a little bit finicky. 
if you don't get out right away, it just kind of goes back up or down. The surface? That means we'll be getting flight units, huh? Better head for the hangar. <laughs> Usually we can't get near flight units. They're way too expensive for us grunts. Too bad they can't mass produce these things yet. I'm just gonna do a quick save first because I got a bunch of stuff. The hangar's up ahead. Let's go. I find it interesting how they change the color palette for up here in space. Erg, I don't feel so good. Her balance sensors got damaged. She gets motion sickness. No matter how many times I repair the sensors, the problem comes back. It's almost like it's in her head or something. You guys take care of yourself so you don't end up like her, all right? Hey there, are you going down to Earth again? I'd give almost anything to spend more time in a flight unit. We'd all like that, but they're expensive, delicate pieces of equipment, so they don't just hand them out willy-nilly. And you combat types are the worst. Last time you used a flight unit, it came back with huge scratches on the side. Who do you think fixes that, huh? We do. We work our fingers to the bone to get you a beautiful ride, and you go and crap all over it. <laughs> all right, all right, I get it. Sheesh. combat model like you to a recon job. If all they want is intel, we scanner models are built for that kind of thing. Orders are orders. All right, all right. Tubi, you're going to have some new weaponry installed from here on out. I'll put up instructions for you. Make sure to commit them to memory. Roger. I think I'm going to call an end to the episode there. Uh, you know the drill. Click over there. Join me next time as we head towards the Resistance and uh, see what kind of intel we can gather. All right? See you then.